like to take just a second and make sure that you're aware of this inverse relationship between squares and square roots and cubes and cube roots. So I've got a, a, a paper here. Hopefully you've got one in your hand. Um, I'm going to take this and I'm going to draw a line right here. Um, and I'm going to draw a line right here. Okay, so we're only going to do the top half of these, and then um, if we've got time or you're, or you're interested, then we'll take a look at the bottom half. It's not that the bottom half isn't useful. Um, it is. Um, it's just that I want to make sure we're aware of this on, on relatively easy numbers. So on this one right here, if we did the perfect square of 1, 1 squared is 1, um, and then over here you'll notice that this has a blank right here. What number has a square root of 1? Well, that would be 1 also. So I want you to notice something. We're going to take 2 and we're going to square it. We're going to get 4. We're going to get put 4 right here. The square root of 4 is 2. So you'll notice that when we square something, we get this bigger number right here. And when we take the square root of that, we get right back to the same number that we started with. So squaring uh, changes the number, changes from two threes or 1, 3 into 2, so that makes a 9. And then the square root takes those two threes that make up the 9 and turns them into 1 as, as far as the answer goes. So uh, 4 squared is 16. Square root of 16 is 4. 5 squared is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. So notice how we're going right back to the number that we started with. 6 squared is 36. Square root of 36 is 6. 7 squared is 49. So the square root of 49 is 7. 8 squared is 64, so the square root of 64 is 8. 9 squared is 81, so the square root of 81 is 9. Uh, 10 squared is 100, so that means the square root of 100 would be 10. 11 squared is 121, so the square root of 121 is 11. 12 squared is 144, so the square root of 144 would get us right back to 12. And the same thing works here when we're talking about perfect cubes. So the perfect cube of 1, 1 cubed would be 1. That means the cube root, cube root of 1 is 1. 2 cubed is 8. That means the cube root of 8 is 2. 3 cubed is 27, so that means the cube root of 27 is 3. And 4 cubed is 64. Uh, the cube root of 64 is we're right back to 4. And then we're going to take 5, we're going to cube it. We get 125. And that means if we take the cube root of 125, we're going to get right back to 5. Now, um, those, you should definitely have those memorized. Those numbers you, you should be able to look at and just recognize. Those should pop out at you definitely for sure. Uh, I do want to point out two things. Um, the square root of 1 and the cube root of 1. Um, uh, one is both a perfect square and a perfect cube, so it's in both lists. And then I also want to point out the 64. 64 is in both lists. 64 is a perfect cube of 4. It's also a perfect square of 64, so notice that that's in both lists. Now I'm going to quickly run through and fill out the rest of these, um, and I'll just chat my way through it. If, if you're interested in these, go ahead and listen. Um, if you're not, please make sure that you get those memorized um, up to perfect square of 12 and up to a perfect cube of 5. So here we go. 13 squared is 169, so the square root of 169 is 13. 14 squared is 196, so the square root of 196 is 14. Uh, 15 squared is 225, so the square root of 225 is 15. 16 squared is 300, oh, sorry, 256. And the square root of 256 then would be 16. Uh, let's see, 17 squared is 289, so the square root of 289 would be 17. Uh, now we're at 324, so uh, uh, 18 squared is 324, so the square root of 324 would be 18. Uh, 19 squared is 361, so the square root of 361 would be 19. 20 squared is 400, so the square root of 400 would be uh, 20. Again, notice that the square root of 4 would be 2, and then the square root of 100 would be 10, so 2 times 10 would be 20 there. And then again, this list right here of the perfect cubes. Uh, let's see, uh, 6 cubed is 216, so the cube root of 216 would be 6. 7 cubed is 343, so the cube root of 343 would be 7. 8 cubed is 512, so the cube root of 512 would be 8. Oops. And 9 cubed is 729, so the cube root of 729 is 9. And then um, this will come up quite often. Uh, 10 cubed is 1,000, 
So the cube root of 1,000, notice those three zeros, that would mean we'd have three tens. So the answer on that one would be uh, 10. All right, please make sure you have those memorized, at least down to the list. Be able to recognize those. If you've got these memorized uh, and these memorized, you're in great shape. The bottom part of the list, if you at least can recognize those when they come up and go, oh yeah, that's in the perfect square. And then you can work on it that way, uh, even if you don't have them memorized. All right, thanks.